You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, YNR fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I've got your two-week spoilers, including some very important info about preemptions for the Thanksgiving holiday that you should expect and some steps that you need to take to make sure that these preemptions do not screw up your DVR. I'm going to dig into all of that for you. I've got so many spoilers to unwrap. If you haven't, please reach down and click subscribe so you don't miss any of our Young and the Restless updates. Now let's jump right in. Monday the 13th. Oh, and these spoilers run Monday the 13th through Friday the 24th. Back to Monday. Nate is really angry at Victoria and he's ignoring her and Victoria is angry at Nikki. Nick is considering coming back to Newman and talks it over with Sharon and Nick's all like, oh, I got to protect dad from Adam, yada, yada. Nikki gets an invitation from Claire Grace that she should probably run screaming from. Claire tells her that her great aunt in Oregon broke her arm. Nikki agrees to drop her off in Oregon on her private jet on her way to see her sister, but then Claire Claire lures her to the cabin from hell, apparently. I'll have more spoilers on that for you later this week in the roster for this week, not later this actual week. And Victor and Adam have a very serious talk. They do some confessing. They mend some fences. It's all very sweet. Tuesday the 14th, we've got Victor just tired, tired of the kids picking at each other. He's over it. He is ready to explode. Jack and Ashley agree that they need revenge on Tucker. They do not agree agree on how it needs to play out. So they've got some debating to do. And Mamie has some advice for Nate, who's newly fired. And I feel like Mamie is the one who probably orchestrated his firing by asking Victor to do it. Wednesday the 15th, We've got Nikki and Claire on their trip together and things take a turn. Yeah, things are taking a turn because Claire is luring her to a house of horrors and she is going to drug her and tie her up misery style. Kyle Abbott's loyalties are shifting. That's a fun spoiler because I have to wonder, are they shifting back to the Abbott's? Because his loyalties had already flipped away from the Abbott's and over to Tucker and Audra. Maybe Kyle is going to get a clue and realize what he's doing with them is irredeemable and the whole family is going to hate him if he does this. Maybe he's gotten wise and he is going to be a Trojan horse and a double agent for the Abbots. Gosh, I hope so. And Victor tells Nick and Victoria, you're going to do what I want or else. He hits his two older kids with an ultimatum. I'm sure it's about come back to work together and play nice with Adam or else. And I'm interested to see how they react to that. I think Victoria is actually going to take it a lot better than Nick is going to because Nick the stick, (sighs) he's so stubborn and he's such a puffy, puffy toad, but he's so cute. I love those dimples. And the biceps. The biceps are nice. All right. Thursday the 16th, we have Victor deciding to give Victoria a second chance. I have this feeling that Victor's going to take a step back and leave Victoria and Adam towards the top of the company hierarchy if Nick decides to stay on up there with them. And then it's going to be a melee. I don't think it's going to go well. But hey, One can always hope, you know, but I feel them all, the energy of them plotting against each other while trying not to let Victor know they're plotting against each other. This should be a lot of fun. Jill Abbott chews Tucker a new one because she's figured out he was bankrolling Mamie. And Claire shows Nikki her true self, and it is not a pretty face. She's a beautiful young lady, but she is really, really icky on the inside. She clearly wants revenge on Nikki. She's going to drug her. She is going to put an IV in her arm, probably with more drugs, keep her sedated. She's in the upstairs floor, looks like, of this farmhouse place. And this, I said in one of our other videos, it feels very misery to me. We'll find out that that creepy movie based on the Stephen King book. But Nikki is in deep, deep doo-doo, and I feel this is all down to Nikki having done something in the past to Claire's family. This feels very personal, very dark. I'm there for it. This is a great storyline for sweeps. I love Haley Aaron. She did some Steve, some devious things when she played um, over 
as Kiki on General Hospital. And of course, she was on Pretty Little Liars Perfectionist, and she was so good on that. This girl, if you don't know her as a grown up actress, like you may remember her playing Abby from years and years ago, but she is dynamite and she is tearing up this storyline. I'm so excited for it. Friday the 17th, we have Nikki cornered. Yeah, she's cornered, she's trapped, she is at Claire's mercy. And I hope by Friday we find out exactly what the grievance is that Claire is punishing Nikki for and whether this great aunt is really who she's supposed to be or maybe this great aunt is the actual victim that Nikki did something to that clearly she doesn't seem to remember. Daniel and Heather talk about their new dynamic now that Heather's back in town. And of course, Lily's getting ready to leave town because Crystal Khalil is about to pop. Her turkey baster is definitely, or whatever you call the turkey timer, it's gone off. Her belly button has got to be popped. Mine popped way before I was that size. Mine actually didn't stick out. It just kind of got completely flat and smooth. I never got the, the turkey timer thing. Weird stuff, right? All right, Nina really wants chance to go in a new direction to start a new chapter is that about his job i think yes i think she either wants him away from being a cop or actually sitting behind his desk and not literally in the line of fire and i also bet she would like to see him with much more age appropriate summer because nina seems to have been giving sharon some side eye about her dating her son all right now for the week of the 20th through the 24th so I feel like the Nikki kidnapping thing is definitely still going to be carried over into Thanksgiving week, which means that Nikki's probably not going to be getting turkey and dressing on fine silver and china. She might get a turkey pot pie. I'm not really sure, but it looks like Claire is still going to have her Thanksgiving week. And the other Thanksgiving spoiler we have is also a comings and goings spoiler. I'm so excited. Michael Baldwin is back. Christian LeBlanc was undergoing cancer treatment. If you didn't hear this before, Michael Baldwin, the, the character, the actor who plays him, of course, is Christian LeBlanc. Back in June, he was diagnosed with a multiple myeloma. He had a tumor in his sinus and it turned out to be this type of blood cancer that develops in plasma cells. He had to have surgery and immunotherapy and that's why he has been so notably absent off of YNR but he has been cleared right now they call it NED no evidence of disease but usually they don't count you like completely in remission if I remember my mom's cancer ordeal we went through a few years ago it was like a full year of clean testing and then they say you're cancer free until then they you know they use different medical terms for it. So Michael is back and the cover story is that he has been overseas with his mom, Gloria Abbott, dealing with some legal issues, maybe in Singapore, someplace like that. I can't remember. You guys drop it in the comments. Can't remember the city they were supposed to be in, but I am so excited to see Glow back. Judith Chapman is so much fun as Gloria. I'm hoping we get some catty scenes with her and Diane because Gloria loves her some Jack and now he's remarried. And Greg Rickhart is back as Kevin Fisher. He's been very busy over on Days of Our Lives, but we're getting Kevin back. So the whole family, Lauren's going to be there with Michael. Chloe's going to be there with Kevin. And Kevin and Michael's mom, Glow, is going to be there. It's going to be a very happy Thanksgiving for a lot of people in Genoa City, but not so much for Nikki, who is out of town and not having a great day. Just real quick. As far as I can tell, my DVR is still showing a new episode to be recorded on Thursday the 23rd, which is Thanksgiving. I am confident that it is not going to be a new episode because there is an NFL game airing on CBS along the Bold and the Beautiful and YNR time slot. That means it should be preempted. I couldn't even begin to tell you the last time YNR ran a new episode on Thanksgiving. Nothing springs to mind. Like thinking back over like the, just the past decade, I believe it's always been a preemption and the same for Black Friday because people are out shopping and there's more sports on things like that. So if your DVR is still showing a new episode to be recorded, and I'll update you in the weekly spoilers for next week just to confirm the preemption, what you're going to want to do is Thursday, once it airs and you see it was a preemption, you delete that recording off your DVR because it's going to mess up the recording and your Monday episode may not pick up. 
And you also are going to want to go to your DVR and manually set a recording for Monday. The reason I say this is because when they have a preemption, but they have it things miscoded as a new episode, it throws off all the coding for your DVR. And that's when you guys might come and say, where's my episode? And then you go over to Twitter, go to Facebook. Hey, was there an episode on today? And it's because sometimes that coding messes you up after preemption. So just be real careful, real cognizant, set your manual recording for Monday just to make sure, and then check your scheduled recordings to make sure everything looks fine. That's all the two week spoilers I have. Thanks for tuning in. Please drop your comments. Come back soon. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt, and I'm here talking soaps with you guys seven days a week. Thanks. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. 